welcome back welcome back to the channel um it's your girl carrington alexis and i'm back it's been a minute don't mind my scarf if you ever see this scarf just know how they washing it and it's stained at this point it's just not coming out and i'm not getting rid of it but y'all know what that is it's get ready for work d yeah very much so it's saturday it's the 22nd 22nd today's the 22nd and i'm gonna get ready y'all so i don't have work for another three hours um i'm getting ready mad early because i don't know i just want to get cute today i want to get extra cute today i want to take my time and of course i'm recording so i just want to you know make sure everything is on point <laughs> so i'm gonna get ready i still gotta take a shower and all this and that i don't gotta brush my teeth but i'm gonna rebrush my teeth again because i was earlier and get ready from scratch and I, i'm gonna leave a little bit earlier because i think i want to go and get me another um lsu shirt so if you remember from the last video i was actually was that for the lsu shirt no that was for the purple bottoms i had my shirt but now i want to change shirts because i didn't worn two different shirts back to back for like a month now like girl switch it up so yeah um i'm gonna go to academy and look for a shirt so i think i want to turn this into a um chit chat get ready with me and vlog only because you know it's not gonna take me that long to get ready so i'm gonna hop in the shower right now wash my face brush my teeth and i'll be back all right y'all this might be a little too bright all right so to check you ready with me y'all i'm just gonna be speaking off the dome things that come to my mind so to check you ready with me it's just gonna be very much off the dome very much whatever comes to mind yeah don't mind my lashes i did these holes myself i did it myself and i'm gonna touch them i'm gonna touch them up today um and i might just wear them by themselves or i might stack them but if i end up stacking them i'm not fixing them because you're not gonna be able to tell so i don't know but first things first i just wash my face and everything so i need to moisturize it y'all know i moisturize with my handy dandy vaseline let's see i'm pretty sure i'll be done in two hours because i had just did a sewing but we're gonna get to the hair part but um i should be done in two hours like i should be done this topic of our girl chat it's going to be, hmm, what should it be? I've been watching a lot of podcasts lately. I'm a podcast girl. I love podcasts, 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 podcasts. Um, I do. They just, I don't know. You got to separate the real ones from the fake ones. Not even like real and fake because people, like somebody's opinion is just somebody's opinion. But when a group of people collectively have a dumbass opinion, that makes it a dumbass podcast, in my opinion. Like, like I don't want to hear anything you say anymore. Like, it's okay if we disagree. That doesn't make it stupid. It's if we have two totally complete views on everything. Like, every video I watch of yours, I'm just like, huh? That makes me not want to watch you anymore. But we're going to shout out some of my faves so far. Um, some old faves and some new faves. Some new faves is No For Sure. Duh. It's the No For Sure podcast um, with B. Simone and Megan. I wish I knew her last name. I was going to say Marco. <laughs> but, um... I just love that that podcast they're so unapologetically them and they own in their truths and they um can just speak and be a hundred percent and be real you know what i'm saying like you can just tell when somebody's being real about something and when somebody's just being fake about something and you can tell that they are genuinely speaking from the heart when they speak on most topics that being said, that's the one of my top podcasts. Um, 
that I like to watch. Another one um, is Drunk Drink Champs. I was say drunk is Drink Champs. Uh, what put me on to them was Kevin Hart's episode. Honestly, Kevin Hart didn't really, he ain't really, like, get the purpose of the podcast. Like, he did. Don't get me wrong. I fuck with Kevin Hart. I fuck with Kevin Hart heavy. But I didn't like him on the show because he just, you know, he got a lot of brand deals. He, he's in a whole lot of business right now. Like, he got to watch what he's saying, say the right things, and just be a businessman at the end of the day. Which, props to you. Kudos to you. More love to you. More success to you. But that's not the point of the goddamn podcast. And Nori... He was, like, kind of being, like, I didn't like him at first. I didn't like him at first. I didn't like him at first until I watched some more of his other episodes. Um, He had an episode with Lil Wayne. He had an episode with, um, what's that group? Um, I want to say Outcast so bad, but I know it's not Outcast. Oh, the, the uh, I have, but then I lost it. But, yeah, he just had a lot of fun. He had a lot of podcasts with different people. And I like the the point of the podcast, which is we're going to give you your flowers while you're still alive. And then my favorite, how am I going to miss the 85 South Show? Like BFFR, BFFR. I love the 85 South Show. Um, Chico, um, Carlos, and um, Crazy Ass Motherfucking. I swear I'm just so over right now, but... You know who I'm talking about. DC. Crazy ass DC. They are just crazy lit. Crazy cool. Such a vibe. I can watch them. I can laugh with them. I can chill with them. All this and that. And it just feel like, I don't know. I'm just talking it up. Chatting it up with my brothers. Like, it's cool. It really is a vibe. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in 360 Mocha. That's my color. That's my shade. That's what gets me right every single time. It's kind of weird because no matter if it's like winter or winter or um summer, I still have the same shade. I guess because it doesn't really get too cold out here, and I don't really go outside too much. So yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty up, pretty. Okay, ladies, tell me this, and if I'm crazy, comment down below and be like, girl. You crazy. So not all the time, but when I meet a new guy, I um look up his zodiac and how we compare. Unless I already know. Like I know when me and another Leo how that's going to be from my past experiences. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the exact same thing, but I kinda have some type of idea on what to expect because i've dealt with another leo before you know um when it comes to a scorpio i pretty much know what i'm going to get when i'm dealing with a scorpio because i've dealt with scorpios before um yeah when it comes to a libra i pretty much have Sorry, you know you gotta focus on these eyebrows and I messed them up. I made that one skinny, so I'm just gonna make this one skinny too. But yeah, I pretty much know what I'm gonna get out of that relationship. And so if I don't know, like I've never messed with a Capricorn before or I've never fucked with a cancer before or I've never messed with the uh Pisces before or an Aquarius you know what I'm saying like I don't know how they are in a relationship I'll look it up I'll research it I'll ask around I'm like so how was it when you was with a oh girl it was this oh girl it was that just for reference this that does not dictate how I feel about you, that does not dictate how I move around you, that does not dictate none of that. I just like to know, just for the sake of knowing. 
just because my mind operates like that and i just want to know am i the only one i'm not talking about like if you will do it i don't care if you will do it i'm talking about if you just you know are one of those women who like to know that's it that's all the next topic is self-love and dating yourself I think it's very important for a woman to date herself. You got to enjoy your own company. You got to enjoy self. You know, somebody, this is a YouTuber that I like watching. is Easting. Easting Mimi. I wish I really don't want to chop her name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And if you don't, look her up on YouTube. You type in Easting Mimi. Easting Mimi. I S I M E M E. Oh yeah, she's gonna come up. And I love watching her videos because she's just like very much into self promise, very much into her. Um, she just got married. Her love story is very inspiring, um, and she's herself outside of her relationship as well, which I really like. Um, and they have their own way of their love which i like it's not super conventional but sometimes you need stuff that isn't super conventional you know what i'm saying like everything's done for the aesthetic now everything's done to outdo the next person and the last person and the person that's going to come after that and i feel like do you even not a person you wear like you know what i'm saying like why is that why does that even matter like is i appreciate her for that because it's just very, it gives out very real and authentic. I started dating again, guys. I could do a whole, I could do a whole series. I could do a whole channel by itself. I could do a whole movie, a screenplay, Broadway show. I could do a whole three part, four part series. <laughs> um my dating life. Not the current one, but over my past, you know my whole entire timeline of dating I could really break it down for you and people will be tuning in well now that I think about it people really wouldn't be tuning in because it really is just repetitive people will probably already know what the fuck is going to happen next I'm actually very I'm in a very happy place right now like it's, it's kind of scary I know it's okay to be happy and I've experienced being happy before. But just the way that it happened blew me. It blew me. Sorry, I can't do this light. I can't do this light and a camera. I just can't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. No. I'm letting it set. But back to the stalking. I'm not going to say like every date I've been on has been spectacular. And I'm not going to say that every man that I've encountered has been the one. And I'm not going to say that every experience that I've had has been a good one. No. But that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it an experience. That's what made dating, dating. That's the point of dating. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm saying it's so hard. Dating. But yeah, like, not everything is supposed to be peaches and rainbows. Not every man is supposed to be the one. Not every man is supposed to fit every checklist. But you got to give yourself the opportunity to go through that. And you got to give yourself the opportunity to open up to somebody else again. And 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 well, sometimes you don't have to do it that many times. But you get what I'm saying? Like, if it doesn't happen, you got to give yourself the opportunity to let it happen. All right. Scratching my eyeballs. So that's just how I feel about that. And, um... That's how I feel about that. And I, 
when I first started dating again, because I was in a long term, long term turned long distance relationship. And what I learned from that relationship is I learned a lot from that relationship, which we'll probably get into in a different episode. But I feel like me not giving guys a chance played a part into me going back to my ex you know we would break up and I would just be by myself and I guess I would just kind of let my loneliness get to me not that I couldn't get niggas not that I wasn't pulling niggas I just never gave a man a chance you know which at the end of the day that hindered me from being with someone who I'm not gonna say deserved me because he wasn't a bad guy I'm just gonna say who fit me more that's it that's it a guy who just who just fit me more you know um and I finally did that and it's been cool you know it's been an experience it's been some different shit every day and I'm so thankful for it for real for real I'm so thankful for it I recently came across a man who you see how I said a man ha <laughs> a man my man my man my man <laughs> like, <laughs> wants to get to know me wants to date me wants to experience things with me is intentional let me let me re-say that last part it's intentional <laughs> now mind you it's too it's too soon in this for me to get all giddy and you know la, 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 la. my man my man my man no no because people, true colors, oh, they gonna come out. And I'm gonna see who you really are. And I'm gonna see what you really want. And I'm gonna see what you really about then. You feel me? You feel me? Oh, I'm gonna see what you really about then. I'm just not stupid. You trying to get me with the okie doke. <laughs> I'm not falling for it. <laughs> Get me, won't get me. <laughs> you won't get me, okay? Sir, you're doing all the right things. Who taught you this? Do you do this for real? When I tell y'all our first date was magical, Notice how I said magical. It was a great first date. And mind you, I had a great day that day. And mind you, I asked God, I said, God, I woke up, I said, God, guide my day. Not I want to have a good day. Not let me, let me meet the man of my dreams. Not... Uh, not none of that. Not none of that. Just God my day. I'm putting my day in your hands. And I had the best day. Was not expecting to see that man at all that day. I gotta redo my hair. Oh, that's why I got a dent in it. Okay, because it was just laying down to the flat. Alright. I'm not putting the track in it. <sighs> Probably don't want to. I still gotta curl my hair and stuff. Whew. Yeah. But y'all, I'm finna figure out what I'm finna do with my hair. Hi y'all, I'm back. I'm just admiring the way I look, but um my makeup isn't fully complete. Well really I just gotta do my lips. 
y'all see i just put the lashes over my um individuals for a more fuller look these are the edges this is my hair i'm gonna tie it down fix my part a little bit and then i'm gonna um head out it's still a little early what time is it we're super shaky i'm just looking at myself because i think i look really pretty um my lips not done yet so uh, and i need to get some setting spray because i feel like in person my face may look a little powdery because of my um powder my uh setting powder so i need to do my setting spray so that everything can just melt and blend and just look real I look real sexy. Um, I guess that was the look I was going for. A side part with a curl and a swoop always do that for me. Like it just always gives sexy. So yeah, I love my hair. I did my hair. I think it came out really cute, simple. I'm pretty sure my curls are gonna fall by the end of the night. <sighs> I can already feel it. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna head out to a beauty supply store and then we're gonna go to academy so i can go find a shirt okay i'm back i'm dressed my um bag is packed this is just my fit literally some tights and a shirt i'm gonna put on some slides and then um i need to pack my fit so it's my purple bottoms All right, bag is packed. I'm gonna throw on some slides. Um, I'm hungry again, so I'm gonna eat at home and find something here because I don't feel like spending money because I know I'm gonna hurry to spend money tonight. I have my purse and my keys. Literally, y'all, this is what I go through. Literally. I have to make sure I have my top, my bottom, if it's not a one piece. My shoes and my socks and my tights. They have tights there, but I have some tights too, so I'm going to wear my tights. And then, um, yeah, I have my fit. I'm going to eat. Dress, hair look good. Curls going to fall. So I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all. Obviously, I had went to work and came back. Last time y'all saw me, um, so then, I think this is what I see. Oh, no. Don't be calling me these for other ladies. What's that? Bacon egg and cheese. Yep. Yeah. Hash brown bowl? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, y'all. He was handsome. But, um. Okay, I can't pop it off. But, anyways, let me check my food. Yeah, I had been to work, been there, done that. I'm back. Ooh, that looks real good. Yeah. I'm gonna eat that up. Work was lit. It was cool. It was cool. I was, I'm still tired. Like, my feet hurt. I'm just tired. I'm just ready to get in the bed. I'm ready to take this makeup off. I'm just ready to just end the fucking night, y'all. I wish y'all could see me, but y'all can't. But yeah, like, let me turn my light on. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, I don't know. Whenever I'm at work and I'm sober, like 100% sober. It's never a fun time. It's never a fun time. Let's see if I can see still. Oh, yeah, I can't, but it's just never a fun time. But 
Um, I'm probably gonna do a money count when I park. Uh, when I get to my house and I park. So I will see y'all when I get there. All right, y'all. Good morning. Um, I got ready today. Yeah, I didn't really get too ready because I look a hot mess on camera, but. No, I just wasn't doing it today. I just wasn't. I might have to go fix my face, but I don't know. I still have makeup on. Like, I have makeup on. And my hair is done. Hopefully, they let me wear my glasses today. Because, baby, I'm just the roof. Yup. Yup. And tips alone, I made three fifty nine. So I made three hundred and basically sixty dollars. And I'm guesstimating on the amount of bottles that we sold that um I'm getting about two two fifty from the grad because we didn't have that. No, I'm gonna say two. We, we had like a decent amount of girls, so I'm gonna say about two. So about five sixty. 550 to 6 is what I made last night. And today, I don't really count the bottles that. Oh, well, actually, I wonder how they work with comp bottles. We still get 20% off of that. I gotta ask that today because if not, my check gonna be poo. Check gonna be poo with the tips. So hopefully, I have way more tips today. So we'll see. 